Now for me, when I got registered when I was 18 years old, there was no Taxumo. Uh, there was me in the Bureau of Internal Revenue um, all alone at 18 years old because I was trying to get registered and I had no idea what I was doing. Hey there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now my goal is that at the end of this video is to walk you through the process of how to register as a freelancer in the Philippines. Now if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leanne Leila Caba. I've been working from home since I was 15 years old and I now run my own outsourcing company here in the Philippines and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now when it comes to registering yourself as a freelancer, in your country it's probably going to be different if you are Filipino or if you are you know from the US but in this video I'm really going to focus on just how to get registered as a freelancer so you can get all of the other benefits and speaking of benefits there are a lot of reasons why you want to register yourself as a freelancer but one thing that I do want to give as an advice from someone who's been doing this for 10 years who's helped a lot of people do this is don't register right away I know it's a little bit controversial but that's actually what I would advice is don't register right away as a freelancer until until you have a way or you've secured some sort of contract for at least six months to a year because it's going to be painful for you to have to re-close everything again if you're going to turn off your business it's going to be better if you have some sort of established way to do this now with that aside, there's top five reasons that I can tell you of why you should register yourself as a freelancer in your home country, whether it's the Philippines or here. Big one is it gives you a lot of financial benefits in your country. So for example, here in the Philippines, if you wanted to get a car loan or if you wanted to get a house loan or you wanted to get some health benefits, being a registered freelancer makes that process easier for here in the Philippines. When you are registered as a freelancer, you are declaring that this is how I'm making money. You're going to let yourself be taxed be deducted on like the different benefits that you're going to be getting and you are giving yourself basically just more that's the second reason more of an established business owner in that sense even though you're just selling your own services you're making yourself be this okay I am known for this this is what I'm doing you are also showing up for the government so if you're going to go abroad for example you have a way to show proof of income so there's a lot of different benefits that you can get from this the third one is it makes you more established to your customers and clients and of course it's because you can give them a receipt they know that you are legit they know that you went through the process of becoming legit so it helps again give you that more established feeling the fourth reason is that it gives you a little bit of just marketing advantage of like hey I actually registered the government knows who I am you know I went through this process of becoming a business owner for my freelancing services so again, it gives you more of an establishment and the fifth one is it just gives you a piece of of mind that you don't have to look over your shoulder and be worried that you know you're doing tax evasion you want to make sure that you're actually doing this right as you start going into freelancing because in reality like I said earlier freelancing you are a business owner you're selling your services and later on it might evolve to something else where you are hiring other people you're becoming an agency for some sort just like for me with 2xu so it's better that you are actually registered so then it makes sense for you to keep moving forward to get bigger and bigger clients as you grow now into the actual process of registering yourself as a freelancer. Now this video is actually sponsored by Taxumo and a lot of what I'm going to be talking about is how to get registered through their website. Now for me, when I got registered when I was 18 years old, there was no Taxumo. Uh, there was me in the Bureau of Internal Revenue um, all alone at 18 years old because I was trying to get registered and I had no idea what I was doing. There was no guide. There was no videos like this where I could watch and learn how to be a freelancer. In fact, at that time, no one really knew what a freelancer was. So I'm hoping that this will give you guys some clarity on how to move forward and how to get registered and how to make sure that you are actually legit, that you'll be able to pay taxes and you get all of the benefits that I just talked about. Now, the biggest difference between being a freelancer and just being an employee in a corporation is when you are a freelancer, you do have to take care of everything else when it comes to your registration. When you're an employee, usually all of that is taken care of by your employer, depending on who they are. But on the payments, on the reporting, they take care of that. For the freelancer, 
it sadly is up to you and that's where Tuxumo comes in because they make it so much easier for you to be able to do the registration the reporting and making sure that you pay the right amount every time now to get started you go to the Department of Trade and Industry website and register yourself with whether you want to register as an individual or as a separate business name so for example for me if I was going to be starting over I would probably re register first as virtual ate if I was just doing freelancing services and then later on I would still make 2xu into a corporation which is what I actually did because I have partners and I have people I work with so that's what we did with 2xu because I knew it was going to be a bigger company but if you are just starting with yourself then pick a brand name pick something else it doesn't have to be that whatever your registered business name is is the brand name that you use because you can do business as this is called a DBA where you are like hey you know the brand virtual ate is under the brand of the NLA Lakaba or the other way around next is once you have your DTI you have to go through your barangay you have to go there and get registered as a freelancer you have to get your business permit and then you have to go to mayor's office to be able to get your city permit to be able to operate as a business and then you have to go to the BIR which is the Bureau of Internal Revenue where you have to either update your TIN if you've been employed before you update your TIN to declare that you're a freelancer or you get a new one if you haven't actually registered before and you register as a freelancer now remember you can only have one TIN you can only have one tax identification number you can't have more than one so keep that in mind now luckily Taksumo has a way that makes it easier to be able to be registered just go to Taksumo Biz Reg I put the link below and if you guys sign up make sure to use my code and you guys will be able to get a 10% discount on all of their fees so this is just an amazing thing that Taksumo is helping out a lot of freelancers who have no idea where to start be able to get started in the right way after that you have to just make sure that you have your nso birth certificate just to prove that you are a person at least two valid government issued ids it could be your passport it could be your driver's license you'll have to be able to provide an occupational tax receipt as a freelancer and maybe just a copy of your contract with a client this is why i really recommend that you don't register right away if you don't have a sure way to keep making money moving forward and of course you're going to be looking for more and more clients anyway but you need that proof that you can actually keep paying your taxes and then once you have that all settled out then you'll have to go to the social security system or SSS and be registered as a freelancer and then going to PhilHealth which is our Philippine healthcare and register yourself in all as a freelancer and you have to really remember to go there every month to be able to pay it and the cool thing is you can actually take care and pay for all of this through Taxumo again Taxumo just really makes it easier for a lot of freelancer as you start coming in as you start making that money to be able to take care of yourself on the government side now a few things to keep in mind moving forward as you are now registered as a freelancer is one make sure that you pay and report your taxes regularly and again Taxumo makes this really easy and you make sure that you pay for your SSS but you begin to feel health also every month try to keep a record of all of your sales of the money that's coming in into your account whether that's through PayPal or Payoneer or through other sites just make sure that you have a copy of all of those make sure that you also give a receipt to the people that you work with or just an acknowledgement receipt of their payment to make sure that you are being accountable to your client registering as a freelancer doesn't have to be this big scary thing it can be so easy and step by step as long as you do it right don't rush yourself into it make sure that you read things so that you understand different things as they're happening if you really want to you can go ahead and hire a bookkeeper to make sure that they can help you with everything else however there is a fee for that but you want to make sure that you do this right so you don't get confused or you don't get fined for something just because you didn't know about it. Now I'm going to do more in-depth videos like this if you guys want to so make sure to hit that thumbs up button right there. Comment below what other videos you guys want to see about freelancing that I can do here on this channel. I really want to help you guys this 2022 push forward and become more and more of the business owner that you could be when it comes to working from home. So let me know and if you guys still haven't yet make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday. You guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. Now, hope you guys have an awesome day. Remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!